Good afternoon, this is Professor Ken Top. We're going to look at using a simulated USB device and a colleague Geimager data acquisition uh, imaging. So, now that's a mouthful. At this point, you should have downloaded a USB.mpg. I've got it in a folder called VHD. And uh, you'll see why that's true in a minute. We're going to change the extension to VHD. Answer yes. And then close this screen. And go ahead and open the VirtualBox Manager running as admin. I've already imported the Kali Linux OVA. This imports a virtual machine, an appliance that's ready to go. There's two setting changes we need to make or it won't run. We need to change the USB to a 1.1. And in storage, we also need, um, we need to set this up. You can see it's already set up, but I'll go ahead and back this out just so you can see the process. So I have a USB.VHD in the VHD folder on my C drive. And basically what I do is click on uh, the controller. And you see here there is a chance to add new storage attachment. So I click on this and I add a hard drive. And I'm going to choose an existing disk. And I'm going to click the green Add button up here so that I can navigate. It might dump you out somewhere else, like in Downloads, or but you go to your C drive and then your VHD folder and select this. And now this is listed. Um, this is listed here. So we go ahead and choose this. And now we have a VHD. We click Start. In a moment, that's going to bring up the Kali screen. This I'm going to select the first option. The advanced options don't really provide anything different. Uh, but this Kali image is similar to a write block. It doesn't allow changes to the host hard drive. I'm going to close this screen. My login is C-A-L-I, and that's the same as the password, C-A-L-I, I'm sorry, K-A-L-I, both times. And the first thing I'm going to do, I could try to open up in forensics, in the forensic imaging tools, Geimager, but if I do that, it won't load in administrative or super user mode, so instead I'm going to Open up the prompt. I'm going to type in sudo su. It's going to ask me for my password, and that's K A L I. Now I have a command prompt, and I'm going to type in Geimager. This will load Geimager. I select the 1 gig USB, right click, use the right mouse button to click, acquire an image. I'm going to use the Linux DD option. The destination directory I'm going to put in temp folder because that's what temp folders are good for. I'm going to choose this and the image file name without extension I'm going to use USB I capital IMG uh, zero 02, since this is likely the second image I've captured. I can calculate a SHA-1 and an MD-5 and verify the image after acquisition. I'll click Start. And uh, you see the status progressing. It works very quickly. And uh, it says it's finished and verified OK. And that was fast. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and close um, by typing exit and exit. I'll select the file explorer and open open a, a folder here. Instead of being in the home directory, I'm going to choose file system. And I can see temp. And as I look in the folder, you see the image and the information. If I double tap this and open this with, uh, let's see, I just want to open this. Let's open it with some kind of text editor. Uh, notes, notepad, and map. <laughs> I'll use Vim. So uh, Vim is a, a great, a great standby. Um, it's a basic text editor. What we see here, if we scroll down, are the hashes. You can snap a screen image, and I have something to compare with the other tool, FTK Image or Light. This concludes our presentation on how to use Kali for a Geimager acquisition.